Testing, 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 lighting, one, two, three. Okay, now we've got decent lighting. Sorry about that, but when you're filming on a tablet, lighting's always terrible. Anyway, hello there, and welcome back to the Jadopico channel. Tonight, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. And yes, it is nighttime. If you look out my windows, it is pitch black. But... I've got my schedule full, so I'm just going to jump straight into the video. I've been playing a lot of Dragon Age 2 lately, and I'm a huge fan of it, especially the Mage class. I can highly recommend it, because not only are you keeping to the default, because um, the character on the front is a mage, I want to confirm that, and uh, that's evident by the staff, which is what we're going to be making. We are going to be making the Staff of Partholan from Dragon Age 2. Now, let me tell you why. Because this thing looks awesome as a staff and as a weapon. Or as a staff weapon, I suppose you could say. Let me tell you what I mean. Um, a YouTuber by the name of Shadiversity, I can recommend his channel, very helpful if you're into swords and fantasy in general. A YouTuber by the name of Shadiversity has a series on his channel called Fantasy Rearmed, where he takes a look at some of the key traits of fantasy races and then takes a look at the weapon sets that are associated with them in modern fantasy and determines whether or not those weapons would be suitable for that race. And then, if not, he... Sorry, I thought I heard something. And then, if not, he tries to determine what kinds of weapons would best suit them. And in his videos about... his video about wizards, he discussed how how the general fantasy wizard is portrayed using a magic staff. Or a wand. Now, generally speaking, that can be used as a weapon, but only to a certain level of degree because it's a blunt weapon. So it can be used as a quarter staff. But how can you make it more of a weapon? Well, he answered that by you could attach a blade to it, like a spear blade or an axe blade, and you have like a what's essentially a magic spear or a magic halberd. But the only problem with that would be you can no longer pull the You wouldn't part an old man from his walking stick, would you? You can't use that anymore because the innocence of the staff is gone. You're no longer using a walking stick, you're a, you've got a weapon. So, that's a drawback. But needless to say, this weapon, this staff is awesome looking. If you've seen the trailer for Dragon Age entitled Destiny, and I recommend you go and watch it because it's awesome, Hawk and Arashok battling to the death, and uh, if you don't know who they are, they're Dragon Age characters, Hawk is your character, Arashok's the main bad guy, and um, I highly recommend going and watching that trailer because that can I saw that trailer and it convinced me to want to play that game. So, uh, and he fights, in the trailer, Hawk fights using a staff known as the Staff of, of Partholan. That's the staff that we're going to be making. Let me show you an image of it, a few images of it I pulled off of the internet. So we're going to be making a version of that staff using wood and uh, I have a I have a orange round marble a see-through orange marble that I can use for the gem you'll see what I'm talking about as I go along but now I'm going to show you the materials that I'm going to be using it to make this staff So this is the material I'm going to be using to form the staff, or make the staff, however you want to put it. I'm going to be using pine roofing strip wood, which I love using, especially for swords, like my Conan sword, which is hanging on the wall there. 
the main body of the staff is going to be made using a five foot long four 40 millimeter wide piece of pine stripping the shaft of it is going to be made using two scales of or two strips of of 30 millimeter wide and then I've got this orange marble here which is going to form the gem on the end of the star and then I've got these two little pieces which will serve as filling pieces by what by what I mean by that is if I need to glue a little tiny piece in somewhere that's gonna be I'm gonna use a piece of one of these and yeah it should be interesting but at the moment I need to glue everything in place I need to glue the two scales of the shaft to the main body so that I can start forming this start so yeah we're gonna jump right into that now so with my full schedule I wound up in a same in the same situation where it's night time again but today I managed to get everything glued in glued in place sped up and the glue drying process was sped up by the fan in my room and I managed to draw on the rough profile of the back end as well as the blade of the staff or spear look it's really more of a spear than a staff you might as well call it a magic spear instead of a magic staff and the blade itself looks like that you would find on a fantasized falchion except for the fact that it's double-edged and it has this weird slot running up the middle about halfway through the blade so yeah tomorrow I am off at splash but I will be back and I'll probably work on it during the evening but at the moment I'm just too exhausted so yeah that's it for today okay so I just finished grinding this staff it's got a fork section at the back here which will house the orange marble for the gem it will later have lots of uh, rooty branchy things added to it the blade is now the shape it needs to be except for the fact that the slot hasn't been ground in but I have a splitting headache at the moment because I'm severely tired from my trip to splash and yeah so I'm just gonna tell you one last thing before I leave it off for tonight the slot you might realize has this line drawn through it here that's because I was originally thinking of having the slot this long but upon closer inspection of the picture I have realized that the slot is slightly smaller or shorter I should say so I've shortened it so now from this green line down that's how long the slots gonna be so yeah the staff is starting to take shape so I'm gonna put this puppy away and I'm going to go to bed wake up early and see what I can do using some lightweight clay and some snippets of uh, snippets of little branches that fell off the tree the other day I created the rooty branchy things that hold the gem in place the gem is also held in place by a bit of screw it glue and uh, the fact that I sanded one side flat the shaft is ground to a nice comfortable shape there is the socket the lugs and the blade the slot is not as neat as I would like it to be but I digress it's still the staff of Partholan so now we can move on to painting so upon closer inspection of pictures of the staff of Partholan I noticed that the staff has these nail like structures in it so that's what I did here by drilling holes and then putting uh, pill shaped pieces of dowel in it in the holes to form the nails and I've spray painted them silver and the 
I'm going to mask them off later and the shaft will be painted brown. So the shaft has dried and I've just painted the socket and blade. Now I just need to wait for it to dry so I can dry brush silver to make it look metallic. With the final coat of paint now dry and the metallic parts looking metallic, now it's time to apply the rag that wraps the handle. Also, in the painting process, the gem has got some paint on it. I'll need to scrape that off before, before we can call this prop finished. So here is the finished staff. As you can see, the gem is in place with the roots or branches or whatever. And I've wrapped the shaft as I've seen it wrapped, or at least my version of how I've seen it wrapped. There's the metallic shaft and blade. Here's to another successful prop build. If you liked it, slash that like button right down the middle. And I'll see you in the next one.